is Ashley at the Crystal Lake Public Library and welcome to the instructions for the July Elementary Take and Make where we will make a paper circuit card. You can see my LED light is my cherry on my ice cream cone that says have a chill day. You will register on the Crystal Lake Public Library's calendar and then pick up a bag with all the supplies needed from the library at the Youth Services desk and let's get started. In the bag, you will have a piece of colored cardstock. There are different colors inside. And it will have a series circuit on it. There will be one coin cell battery, like this. One LED light, like this. There are different colors. A circular paper clip and pieces of double-sided conductive copper tape with adhesive on the back. Okay the first thing you want to do is fold your card in half with the series circuit um, in the back of the front and then you'll notice there's a dotted line here. This is gonna help um, hold the battery in. This will be like your on and off switch. So you wanna fold that along the dotted line there. And this lets you know this is the room you have to work with. And that's okay that you can see that word. I glued um, some paper on over that. Or, you know, you can just make it part of your design in there. Okay? Now, you can do the ice cream cone like me. There's a tutorial from Art Hub for Kids where they draw this ice cream cone, or you can come up with your own design. You will want to poke holes in where the LED light will go. That way you know how to draw your card. So the way that you do that is you grab your LED light, you find right here the picture of the LED, and you just wanna poke. And you wanna be careful not to stick your finger there. So if you would like help from a grown up, this is a good time to ask for it. And you wanna try not to bend the leads on the LED. There you go. So you can see, I've poked holes through there and you can see it on this side. So when we make the card, we'll stick the LED in here. This is how you want to plan your card design. Let's say you have a yellow LED light and you wanna make a birthday card for someone. You could draw a cupcake and a candle and have the yellow or the red be part of the flame um, and you could do make a wish, happy birthday, something like that. So just trying to think about what you wanna design on your card. Again, you can do the exact same thing that I've done or you can make it your own. Once you have designed your card, then we're gonna build the circuit. Okay, now that I have uh, finished the design on my card, I know I want my LED to go in my cherry where the holes are. Now let's build the circuit. So what you wanna do first is test and make sure that your light works. So you can see my LED light. There are the two little wires that come down. You should be able to see one is longer than the other. The longer side is positive. And on your coin cell battery, you can see there's a positive side. So you wanna put the positive to the longer side and you can just stick it in between the two. And you can see that my LED is lighting up. I know the battery works, the LED works. And what helps is as we're building our circuit card, that will help us in troubleshooting. If the light doesn't work, then we'll probably wanna troubleshoot the copper tape, not the LED or the battery, as long as we have the battery placed correctly. Okay, now, Next, you wanna take the copper tape. And this is a lot different than regular tape. Um, it's um, a little harder. 
and um, it's conductive, right? So it's gonna let the electricity from the battery flow through to the light and back around. And it's very important that we're careful handling this tape so we don't cut ourselves. So if you would like a grown-ups assistant, it'd be a great time to go grab one right now. All right, so you'll notice you should have um, a plus and minus labeled. That's just because the plus side piece of tape is longer and the negative side is a little bit shorter, okay? So what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start with the positive side down here. And so we have this nice pattern on so you can just follow it. So I am going to gently peel back um, the copper tape and don't pull the whole adhesive backing off at once because it'll just curl around and get stuck on each other. All right, so just pull it back a little bit at a time and we're going to start putting it on the pattern. Now, it's okay if you don't follow the lines exactly. That's not the important part to the circuit but it's just an easy way to guide you. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of follow along here. I'm going slowly. And when I reach the corner, I do not wanna cut the tape. That um, makes it easy for the circuit to break. I wanna keep it in one long continuous piece. So there's a way to fold the corner. So I put it all the way back And then I'm just gonna pull it towards me a little bit. So there's gonna be a crease and I'm gonna just run my finger along there. See how it creased there. There you go. And so I've made the corner and I should be able to go up. Now I've worked with conductive tape a little bit so I have a little bit more experience if I make it look a little bit easier than it seems to you, that is why. And it's okay if it's a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna go up here to the top. And again, same thing. I'm going to press down to crease it. I'm going to move it to the side here a little bit, crease it again, and then fold it over. press down and I have that nice corner and now is where I want to put my LED in so I have my tape attached right here I'm gonna leave it there so again I want the longer LED side to the positive so I'm gonna push this through And I do have the longer side to the positive. And now you're going to bend the wire lead down so that it matches the pattern. You can do it with both sides. Okay. And now I'm gonna finish putting the copper tape down and I want the copper tape to go over top of the lead and I wanna press it down so that the tape covers it on all sides. And that's important because it's conducting, meaning it's letting the electricity flow through it. And so I want that to get on either side of the LED. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this a little bit closer to show you as I'm pressing it down. You see the little indentation from the wire? I'm just gonna press along here to make sure that the tape is secure along that. Electricity is always gonna try to take the shortest route possible, so you wanna be very precise with your circuit. Okay, so now we have the first positive side down. We're gonna do the negative. Same thing, only we have one corner this time. 
Well, that's a little easier. And you're doing great. All right, so I just kind of took my flat part of my finger and just moved it back until the copper tape started going. Again, I'm gonna keep the adhesive on there while I'm working. And I'm gonna go ahead and start here with the LED, making sure to get tape on either side of the lead, the wire there, and I'm just going to really press down to make sure that I've gotten it on all sides. Okay, so I'll just pull this back a little, make a crease, and if it sticks a little bit, you can usually pull it up gently. If you pull too hard, it will rip, which is very frustrating. All right, so I've made the crease. We should have extra copper tape in the bag for you. If for some reason you use it all up, you can stop by the library and ask for some more, okay? So you can see my corner here wasn't exactly precise. So I'm just really gently working with it and it's okay to ask your grown-ups for help with this and it's okay for your grown-ups to take a couple of tries to get this done. So the circle here is where my battery is gonna go. I don't wanna connect my copper tape and I wanna end it about there. So I'm gonna get my scissors to cut that. So I make sure that that is down. I'm just gonna press along my copper tape again just to make sure that it's sticking. So now we're gonna test to make sure it works. We're gonna get our coin cell battery again, look for the plus side, and you can sit it right down in the circle here, and then fold it over so your plus and your negative side should work. And then I'm gonna see. Oh, so what happens is as I'm moving it around, it's working sometimes and not the other time. So this is when I'm gonna check the connection to my LEDs. You probably wondered why I was talking about that so much. This is why <laughs> usually when you're trying to get it work to work, this is where you'll need to troubleshoot. So I've just pressed that down even further and it seems to be working. Now you notice I have to hold it for the circuit to be completed and the electricity to go around from the battery to light up the light. This is where my circular paper clip is going to come in. I can place it over top of the battery and then I don't need to hold it anymore. All right. Now, if you wanna cover up this, you can certainly do that before you put a message in there. You could take a piece of paper and you could glue it on. So I'm just taking a piece of paper and glued it down. Now you can write your message and you can give it to whoever you want or you can keep it and you can have it as a decoration. Anytime you want to turn it off, you can just take the paper clip off and the coin cell battery out. And then you can turn it on again. Make sure your plus side matches up to the plus, folds over to the negative, put that back on. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed this paper circuit card. Please make sure to check out other videos we have. I'm gonna read Ada Twist Scientist, which is one of our favorites, and I'm also gonna show you how to use a research tool to find more information on circuits and how they work. Thanks so much.